Okay, I went ahead and I uh, cut the end off the cable, the sacrificial cable, the power cable. Cut that off, and I drilled a hole in the box for the cord to go through here. Now the other end, I didn't have a bit big enough, which I really should have, and I would have, I'd have did the same thing over here, but I couldn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using one of these knockouts, and I'm gonna use the uh, the fender washers for it to hold it. You'll see. But I did that off camera. Um, let me go ahead and set that up and let me advance the next part. I'm going to go ahead and put this through here or through the hole. I'm going to wrap a extra uh, electrical tape on there to take care of any sharp edges which I pretty much got but still want to be sure. So I don't want it to uh, slice the cable and ground out. And then I'm going to use the zip ties to hold it because I couldn't find a grommet at Home Depot. So I'll put zip ties on each side to immobilize the cable. Alright, let me do that and I'll come right back. Okay, I just want to show you what I did there. Put one on the outside and one on the inside to uh, hold it with some electrical tape to thicken it all up. So it shouldn't cut now. Should be safe. I'm confident. Wow, China wins again. Instead of green, black, and white, we have green, blue, and brown. Uh, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll plug in the socket. I'll take my multimeter and... Uh, See if we can figure out what the heck it is before we kill ourselves. So I got it on ohms. Let's see. I'm gonna assume green is ground, so let's let's do that and check. Yeah, zero ohms ground. So I'll put down my tab here. Okay. And let's see, blue is probably just a silver screw, which would be um, uh, neutral. Um, yeah, that works. Blue is neutral. Blue is neutral. Okay. And brown would be the black wire, I'm guessing. With that, so kind of okay. Brown is black, so if I go back and reference the diagram, <laughs> black is hot, so that means brown wire is hot, um, and green is ground, that's easy. And the blue would be neutral, so that'd be the white wire. Neutral white. Yeah. Oh boy. China wins again. This was a 10 amp cord, by the way, for um, for a power supply. Um, might have been from monitor. I'm not really sure what it came from. It's 10 amps at 125 volts. I just found it in the box. Uh, next time I cut it, I'll make sure I have white, black, and uh, green. But for now, this should be okay. We'll, we'll see if it blows up or not. All right. Yeah, China wins again. All right, well, I'll go ahead and wire this up a little bit. And then I'll show you what I've got. And then we'll do the mobs on there and see how they work out in the next step. Let me go ahead and set things up, though. Or, you know, let me wire that up. Actually, I've decided I'm going to film while, while doing this, and I'll just speed up three parts out of one. I went ahead and did the knockout plug here. Uh, let me go back to my diagram, where the heck it is. There we go. So we got to hook our fuse up first. There's no significance to the colors here. Um, that's just my references, or um, it's just the parts I had on hand. So that's all. So let me go ahead and hook up the black, because it shows on the diagram. Black goes to the fuse holder. Go ahead and put that on there. And I will crimp it. This is the connector, obviously. <sighs> okay, that's crimped. So, you know, I need another piece of wire. Dang. Okay, I um, I actually screwed that part up. I gotta do it backwards. I did it backwards. So, I went ahead and just cut the piece off. I'll reattach in a moment, but let me go ahead and crimp this on here.
Okay, so we're going to test the fuse now. I have to redo that part. We'll leave that in the video because this is a learning experience. So, just going to have to come through here for right now. I have to put the fender washer on here now. Actually, almost screwed up again. All right, let me go ahead and wire this up now right this time. Well, I should say I broke my little piece. I broke the fuse over in the last video. So we're going to go ahead and just do it right. Let me freaking done with it. Yeah. yeah, it should make clearance, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, it's good. Maybe. It's kind of far out. It's pretty close. Well, we'll tape it and see. Now, let's take that up. And for good measure, I want to put one on that other tag there just to uh, make sure it doesn't ground accidentally. Okay. So, here's what we got. Okay. Now, according to our notes, this is odd. So let's take a look at the diagram again. Diagram figure 15 on page, part 4, page 34, is what I'm looking at now off screen. And. Okay. Hot wire goes to brass always. And I can't believe this much my screwdriver. I don't. I'll be right back. I don't know. Do my screwdriver. Give me just a second here. I'll be right back. 